Welcome to the UTS Helps online video tutorial. This short video is designed to acquaint you with the essentials for building an effective introduction to your essay, as well as briefly explaining the English language support services we offer to undergraduate and postgraduate students. Most students at tertiary level institutions will be required to write essays, reports, case studies, literature reviews and reflective journals as part of their course requirements. Writing is one of the most challenging macro skills that students need to develop when studying at university level. And so today we are going to concentrate on the essay writing genre. It is important to appreciate that the basic structure of an essay comprises three parts. Firstly, there is the introduction, which explains to the reader exactly what the writer is going to say. Then, the body, in which the writer elaborates, argues, demonstrates or solves a certain issue. Finally, there is the conclusion, in which the writer summarizes the critical points of the essay and restates the main argument or purpose. In this video, we are going to focus on writing your introduction from a grassroots level. The introduction is the window to your essay and needs to invite the reader in. The first question examiners or assessors will ask is, has the student understood the point of the question? We will try to make it clearer for you by actually using a sample introduction that was written for a real-life academic essay. Please refer to the assignment question on the right-hand side of the screen. Notice the key words. In this case, they are academic learning and literacy centres. Also notice these key words, the most effective approach. Regardless of the topic or the task, it is very important to understand and analyse the assignment question before embarking on any assignment writing exercise. A clear interpretation of the question and a well-structured plan are essential. This may involve discussing your questions, needs and concerns with your tutor, lecturer or subject coordinator to clarify the assignment question or by speaking to a helps advisor. Naturally, you will need to do some background reading to consolidate your ideas before you start planning your essay. Many students are confused as to what to include in an introduction. Try following this simple formula. Firstly, start off with background information. This will provide context for your reader. Then include the focus or topic of your essay. In this case, it's academic learning and literacy centres. Be sure to express your thesis statement or main argument. In this case, it's the most effective approach. Providing some sort of scope or limitation will help to narrow down the topic of your essay. You should also include a preview or a map as to the structure of your essay and if necessary include a definition of special terminology. Let's imagine then that we've spent some time and worked on our first draft of our essay and have written an introduction to the essay question. We can analyse the text in our sample introduction and look at the elements it needs to contain. This is the first paragraph of the introduction. You don't need to read all of the text that appears on the screen. However, you can rewind this video tutorial and press pause should you wish to read the text in more detail at a later stage. You will notice that the first sentence, which in this case is the topic sentence, provides a broad statement leading into a paragraph that contains general information on the subject matter. This is designed to orientate the reader and provide them with some sort of context beforehand. It is absolutely critical to prepare your reader with this type of background information. 
do not immediately launch into your argument. In the second paragraph, you will notice that the keywords from the assignment question clearly indicate the topic of the essay. After having read the background information in the previous paragraph, this will help the reader to focus on the specific subject area. Further into this paragraph, you will find the thesis statement which explains the purpose of the entire essay. This does not have to be restricted to a single sentence and can cross over into several subsequent sentences. Try to use a variety of academic language that articulates the claim that is being made. Remember that good variation in your choice of vocabulary and sentence structure is the key to successful writing. This is the topic. And this is the thesis statement or purpose. This is the third paragraph of our introduction which contains a preview of the essay. This functions as a kind of map to navigate the reader. We can tell that this is a preview from the use of key words, such as this essay will focus on. Notice that further into this paragraph, signposting language is used to designate the structure of the essay. For example, phrases such as the first, second, and last section. Notice too that even a preview into the conclusion is mentioned here. This outline of your essay will set up a sort of contract with your reader, explaining what you will deliver to them in the body of your essay. In this paragraph, certain terminology that carries a specific meaning or reference is explained to ensure that the reader does not misinterpret any information explained in the body of the essay. Notice the use of these phrases. These definitions may not always be necessary, and you should use your own discretion based on the subject material. Ensure that you let your introduction speak for itself. Try to create an introduction that captures the target reader. And don't let the target reader second guess what you're trying to say. Now let's summarize the main points of this tutorial. Remember to follow the formula to structure your introduction. The real value of writing introductions based on a simple structural formula is that you're more likely to feel confident about what you're writing. As you develop your writing skills, you can modify your style to suit your needs. Be sure to provide a map by previewing or outlining your essay so that your target reader is at no time unsure which way you are going and where you're taking them. Remember, if you lose your target reader, you also lose marks in your assessment. It's as simple as that. Your introduction should point them in the right direction, giving them a clear idea of what is to follow. HELPS is dedicated to providing English language and academic literacy support to UTS undergraduate and postgraduate course students via free non-credit programs and services. Daily workshops are delivered throughout semester and target reading, writing, speaking and referencing skills. 
they are a great way to bring your academic literacy skills up to speed. Drop-in sessions allow you to ask general questions about your studies and assessments. They are approximately 10 to 15 minutes in duration and they do not require a booking. If an advisor has decided that you need more assistance, then you may be booked in for a 40-minute consultation. Right now, writing clinics are designed to provide a space and an opportunity for you to work on your own assignment with a helps advisor on hand to answer your questions while you work. Conversations at UTS is a great opportunity to practice your English speaking skills and meet new people. The HELPS website also provides an online self-study guide to essential academic skills. Our holiday courses are intensive English programs that are delivered separately and cover academic writing, pronunciation and presentation courses designed to fast track your progress in these skills areas. For further information, hop on to our website. HELPS is located in Building 1, Level 3, Room 8, opposite the Careers Service and near the cafe. Our contact details appear on your screen. Please feel free to drop in and have a talk to one of our advisors at any time. We are at your service. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening.